Number 1 Cathedral Notre Dame de Strasbourg Considered one of the most beautiful monuments of Gothic architecture in Europe, the Cathedral of Notre Dame presides over Strasbourg with its soaring tower. The 142-meter spire was the highest point in the Christian world, until the 19th century. Number 2 La Petite France The most atmospheric section of Strasbourg's UNESCO-listed historic center, the Cartier des Tanners known as La Petite France is a winding maze of canals and narrow, old streets lined by perfectly maintained half-timbered houses. During the 16th and 17th centuries, the neighborhood was home to the city's leather tanners and fishermen. Number 3 Maison Camerzel The Maison Camerzel is the finest old burgers house in the city. Considered a gem of Alsatian architecture, the Camerzel House, built between 1427 and 1589, features half-timbered upper floors, traditional leaded windows, and rich carved ornamentation. Number 4 Eglise de Santoma The Church of Santoma is located on the site of an ancient church built in the early 6th century, dedicated to the Apostle St. Thomas. After being destroyed by fire, the Church of Santoma was rebuilt in the 12th century, during its 800-year history, the Church of Santa Ma has been most renowned for the role it played during the Protestant Reformation of Alsace. Number 5 Eglise Saint-Pierre-le-Jeune The Eglise Saint-Pierre-le-Jeune is steeped in history. The church was built in the 11th century on the site of a 7th-century Merovingian chapel. Although the building was renovated in Gothic style during the 13th and 14th centuries, the Romanesque elements are still evident in the 11th-century cloister. Number 6 Maison de Louvre Notre Dame In 1349, the workers responsible for the maintenance of the cathedral established the Maison de Louvre Notre Dame. The east wing of the building is the oldest part, and was renovated in the 16th century, and the west wing was built from 1579 to 1585. Number 7 Palais Rohan The elegant 18th century Palais Rohan was the former residences of the Bishop Princes from 1732 to 1742, until the French Revolution. The rest of the immense building houses three exceptional museums. There are works by Botticelli, Courbet, Delacroix, Giotto, Goya, El Greco, Rubens, and Veronese among others. Number 8 Alsatian Museum Located in a patrician house built in 1620, the Alsatian Museum displays a collection of folk art, furniture, costumes, and domestic items. Visitors can view thousands of objects that offer an insight into rural Alsatian life in the 18th and 19th centuries. Number 9 Parc de l'Orangerie To the southeast of the Palais de l'Europe is the beautiful Parc de l'Orangerie, the oldest park in Strasbourg. The Orangiri Park was created in the early 19th century for the Empress Josephine. The Gardens Pavilion Josephine is now used for special events and receptions. Number 10 Palais de l'Europe Strasbourg was chosen as the capital of the European Union because the city became a symbol of reconciliation after the Second World War. Designed by Henry Bernard, a French architect, the ultramodern Palais de l'Europe was built from 1972 to 1977 as a fortress-like structure of nine stories. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.